Welcome to Strangeville. Welcome to the channel. My name is Kevin Strange, 20-year veteran of the underground, cartoonist, novelist, independent filmmaker, and I am here today to share my love of comic books with you, gang, at home. If you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button. If you haven't liked this video yet, uh, hit the like on there. What are we going to take a look at today? Well, we're going to take a look at the uh, at the Dark Horse 20th Century Fox property Aliens as, uh, as drawn by uh, Sam Keith, of all people, the, uh, the Max, um, famous The Max creator and artist, um, famous uh, um, Marvel, um, what were the, what, what, what was it, Marvel Presents? Covers. Yeah, Marvel. And uh, I am here, of course, with my very special guest. Joining me today is Dr. Ben. Dr. Ben, the uh, the PhD of comics. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. Pretty good. You know, I I've, I have never seen these these aliens by Sam Keith, so that's that's I'm like I, I need to see them. I've never I've never seen them out to buy. Had anyone that had them, that had copies? So I am like super excited, you know. I well, mean, I make my own comics too, and that, you know, Sam Keith is like, you know, like Sam Keith is just the dude. You know, he's got to be, at, at, you know, one of the, the the top influences for me, or top just, you know, epitome. So like this, that's who you want to draw comics is like. Yeah, for, the, for those of us that are in the in our early 40, late 30s, early 40s, Sam Keith was definitely, who are cartoonists, uh, Sam Keith was definitely one of, uh, I think, the biggest influences of this generation of cartoonists. And we've it's done, then we've done cover. a bunch of, we've done a bunch of, does he do the cover? This is, um, no, the cover no, okay. is John, it, what, it, it looks like John Bolton, but that can't be right, I just can't read it. Um, you know, they don't. They don't like to put the cover artist names in the credits of oh. uh, of a lot of comics, so I don't have the uh, name of the cover artist. But no, these are like paintings. Definitely not Sam Keith paintings. Okay. Uh, it's weird that they wouldn't have his him on the cover too. Like what? Well, you know, it's weird. Sometimes he's only a cover artist. That's what's crazy. Is you got cover artist Sam Keith, guy known. Uh, in a lot of circles, just for his covers on like uh, Marvel Comics Presents, and then you're you're having him uh, uh, work on the interiors. But this is a great. So I um, I'm a huge fan of these uh, Alien, Terminator, Predator, all of these Dark Horse like um, properties, like movie properties that they bought. I think for for my money, some of these um, some of these like Aliens and Predator and Terminator comics, especially, have cooler writing and stories than um uh, than the uh than the movies do especially the sequels especially when you get out two or three sequels into these uh series uh they're just garbage and then you've got these insane well-crafted stories in these comic books and hollywood just ignores them hollywood wants nothing to do with adapting these um these incredible uh, stories in the comics. So as I when I the same that same time period of the early '90s when Image was blowing up, I was buying these Aliens, Predator, Terminator, RoboCop, all these different properties from uh, from from Dark Horse as well. And uh, Alien Earth War here done by Sam Keith is a treat. But before we go any further, Doctor Ben, you know the late great Ed Piscor used to say that uh, these videos are brought to you by the comics that we make. And uh, this is, uh, our channel is no exception. We are comics makers. It is uh, October. It is Monster Month, which is why we're covering Aliens. And uh, I have a new book out called uh, Count Kefula, a.k.a. Dracula in Strangeville. It's a 28-page splatter gore underground uh, 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 gnarly little comic. If you're into the undergrounds like uh, Robert Crumb, Gilbert Shelton, S. Clay Wilson, uh, Spain Rodriguez, uh, I think you're really going to dig Count Kefula and the other Strangeville comics. And you can get Count Kefula now 
by following the link in the description to the Patreon. $3 a month gets you Count Kefila and all my other comics, all my other novels, and all of my feature films. We're doing a very small print run of Count Kefila. Uh, you can pre-order that now through Halloween. Uh, we're getting close. We're getting close to the, to the, de the deadline on this. Don't come crying to me afterwards that you didn't get your copy of Count Kefila. You've had all month to uh, click that link. 12 bucks gets you the comic and this uh, fresh 11 by 17 poster. We are clawing our way towards that 1,000 uh, subscriber mark, gang. And... Uh, to help us get there, you know, about 40% of you guys that watch these videos are not subscribed. Click that little subscribe button now. It doesn't uh, cost you anything. That helps us. Uh, that's going to get us out of small channel hell uh, into full monetization, which helps us bring you more, uh, more videos about the comic books that we love. When we hit that thousand subscribers, I'm going to put Kevin Strange's Space Worms, my 164 page splatter underground opus, uh, for up for free on the Patreon for you to download for a month. That will be uh, up there for free. And you can also, if you want the print versions of my books like Too Many Dabs, Wizard of Ganj, uh, Death to Strangeville, and many more, click that link for the pre-order on um, Count Kefila, and it'll lead you to a page where you can buy all my comics. What you got, Dr. Ben? I got... Uh... Gatus? No, we don't know. We're in the future. We're in the time machine right now. So what I have to tell you is that if you go on to drben.substack, you can get the you read the PDF version of this preview ash can copy of a goth true crime comic called Let Us Get. Uh, in it, it of course has the story of a evil, horrific murder, but it also is uh you know, we take breaks from that. It's a, it's a heavy subject. Uh, we'll have little bits where we cover, you know, recollections from the recent uh, political history, the presidential campaign, the, uh, you know, of course, Biden, Trump, uh, cover the famine in Gaza, fighting over there. Sometimes talk about that. And... Uh, Jokes about different cartoonists and fun events in the world of comics. You know, it's it's a little. It's gonna be fifty-two pages. It's like I said, this is just the preview. You know, it's it's. This isn't the order it is in. Some of it's not gonna be in there. I'm not gonna put in the Judge Dread thing. You know what I'm saying? But you can download the PDF for free. So you know, I'm not selling money off of Judge Dread. No, I don't want to work for Judge Dread anyways. No, I don't care. But. Uh, Go on there, you can get the PDF files for this, any of these. You can order a copy of No Legs, my horror manga. I'll send you a copy of this for free as well. If there's any left on the eBay, we're gonna see. Cause I've been selling out, I might have a, I think I've got one copy I'll just have. Okay. And uh, over there at uh, Strange Headquarters, the island of Strangeville, here's a copy, the last copy to leave of image grand design so if, if you're one of the viewers dollar bin diggers that ordered uh the last copies of image grand design that i had for one thank you you know that's cool good to get rid of them and uh we'll be covering behind the heens behind the heens behind the heens story of the scenes behind the scenes story of uh what image, image grand design the creation of the world's greatest fan fiction comic book that you've never read. Unless you have a copy and then you, you did read it. So, be tuning in with Kevin Kennedy. We'll go over that. And uh, for now, I want to see... Open up these earthworms. I looked up the... <laughs> these earthworms. Up, yeah, I looked up... Check this out. I looked up aliens and all this, and it said aliens, female war. That was the only one I could find on this wiki. Hmm. It's Aliens Earth War. I don't know why it's called Aliens Female War. That's weird. Xenopedia. But the cover is uh, John Bolton. It is John Bolton. Okay. You're getting there. You're getting there. I didn't want to, you know, wanted to show it to you from here before you were worried about recognizing artists. <laughs> it's starting, you're starting to pick, to get them. There's John, there's John Bolton, and inside, 
I don't care about John Bolton. I just I want to see the Sam Keith stuff. That's what I'm saying. Alien Sam Keith. Like, tell me what the, you read these too. Yeah. So um, okay. this is awesome because so we met Ripley, Sigourney Weaver's Ripley character in Aliens, and then she she reprised her role in the um, seminal. Uh, I'm getting a lot of feedback out of you over there, Doctor. That was, that was me. I walked my head into the hole. There you go. Uh, the the seminal one of the best sequels of all time James James Cameron's um, Aliens uh, she reprised her role and then we met little Newt uh, and at the end of the movie Aliens Newt and Ripley and uh, what's the, uh, the the marine character that survives Hicks they all um, go into sleep pods and take off and in Alien Three Newt and Hicks are killed off screen, and Sig- only Sigourney Weaver lives. And that was no nobody liked that. That was in real bad taste. Uh, everybody was groaning like, "What in the world did you do that for?" This comic is a sequel to Aliens, where not only does Newt live, but we uh, we we fast forward into the future where Newt is a is an adult. Uh, Newt is now a, a full grown woman. And so we, we, we dive into this really crazy, you know, sci-fi sequel to, to, to a, beloved, uh, a beloved film. And Sam Keith, of all people, draws it. And look at this weird, these alien heads that, like, frame this, um, that frame this uh, panel. And just, it's just all, you know, you know how Sam Keith does his panels. It's all fucking weird shit with lots of circle panels thrown in. And, yeah, this, like, filigree of, like, alien heads. Um, this is just, it's a it's a treat. And I think that, I think that um, Sam might even noodle a little bit more on this uh, book than he, than he does on his Max, a lot of his Max stuff. There's, there's a full, that's page two. We already get a splash page of a Sam Keith alien. So if you ever wondered what the guy who draws the Max would make an alien look like, well, it's pretty cool. And that's yeah. Newt's that's Newt's little uh, little head down there at the bottom. Look at the hair. Look at the hair on Newt down there. And then I'm guessing that uh, Dark Horse doesn't have the rights to Sigourney Weaver's likeness. So with the um, the Ripley that we get. Doesn't exactly look like um, Sigourney Weaver, but that's okay. We accept this. We accept this fictional version, this uh, comics version of uh, of Ripley, just fine. And um, so these these two end up. It's years in the future, obviously. Newt's grown up, and uh, Ripley and Newt are um, they're having to manage another alien crisis together. And we get another group of. Uh, colonial space marines which drawn by Sam Keith is just a treat look at this feller isn't that awesome this is the uh, this this is the, the like pathway behind him the like alien spaceship pathway okay behind him there and then we get and then we get some of the marines there but there's a nice shot of them here in a minute we do get um, I guess this is when Ripley was like just got out of her cryogenic sleep chamber and Newt was still in it when she was a kid. And we do get a nice Sam Creek, Sam Keith uh, butt crack, which he likes to draw in his uh, on his ladies in his comics. Uh, doesn't quite, um, Ripley's not quite as uh, heavy, heavy set as a lot of the, um, as a lot of the Sam Keith ladies, but that's okay. We like them. We like Sam Keith's ladies skinny too. That's okay. Um, just you know what I'm saying with this like I think he's doing a little more a little more noodling on this stuff than normal this kind of harkens back to me you tell me what you think Dr. Ben this stuff is looking a little more a little closer it's skewing more towards Sandman than it's skewing towards the Max what do you what do you think yeah I would I could just, I can yeah I agree with that like but, I mean, you know, I'm saying, like, Aliens is a huge, I don't know if, I don't think there was, this was before Aliens 3, you're saying. 
This or yes, alien. This was a uh, this was 1990. Okay. Oh, in this book. Yeah, so that, you know, like it's it's a huge. Everyone knows Alien and Aliens. You know what I mean? Like that's that's just everyone knows those. Those are like the best movies. So I mean, he's gonna be doing. You know what I'm saying? Like he's getting paid whatever it is through Dark Horse. I'm sure it's not like he's getting like a huge rate. But also, I mean, I don't know. Like I don't know what their their pay is. But I mean, you're gonna be associated with Aliens, like. You be doing like just extra, whatever you can, because you know what I'm saying. Like that's a, that's a dream job. Mobius worked on Aliens. Who else? Geiger. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's you a, get to like do some comics. There's our, our Marines. Yeah. <laughs> through uh through Sam Keith's lens, they just look awesome. Check that dude out. There's yeah, your uh, there's a, your wolf there's your Wolverine um, forearm hair. <laughs> On that dude, look at his look at that face. Huh. Yeah, that that's what I'd say. He's he's definitely just. I like the noodling you know, on the getting, uh, on the spaceship. He's gonna like it. Yeah, he's doing work. He's going to work on this uh, on this comic. No no doubt. He put. Oh man, look at this. All that alien, that's all that, uh, the shit that the aliens, like, build up around their hive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The hive stuff, yeah. That detail Balls. there is crazy. That's the ship. This is the, this is the ship they're walking into. That's the size of the people. You can see the people down there, right? Right. It's for the scale of the size of that ship. Woo! Look at that face. <laughs> Look at that guy's face. Uh... Yeah, this this is a killer page too. This is Sam Keith working overtime. I mean, he was killing himself on this, on this stuff. Probably, you know how Sam Keith is. So he was probably panicked, like I'm not worthy of this job. This looks like shit. Like, oh my god, they're gonna fire me. That's just his. That's just Sam Keith's attitude when he his approach to comics is is just like panic and anxiety. That's like. Oh yeah, his gun there. That is like. Uh... Yeah, let it. It's like let it focus or something. Is it not focus? No, the closer focus. I get, the less it won't focus close. Okay. It's about focus dies right about here. Wow, I thought like that's like that looks like you know what I'm saying that's just like that. It looks exactly like out of like the aliens movies. You know what I mean? Like I can yeah. I can just imagine like one of the guys going on with like, with like these giant rail guns or whatever they call yeah, those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he probably had the he probably had these flicks on VHS, pausing them, looking at everybody's right. shit. Um, check this out. Dude falls through the ground. Crunch. Those three panels. Awesome. Nice. Huh. Awesome. And I guess this is Ripley. Again, she doesn't look anything like Sigourney Weaver, so... Not really, no. They both have brown hair. <laughs> and then this is this is awesome. This is... Here we go. This is the money. This is the money right here. So, guy reaches down to the hole like... Uh, 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 Ten yards! Damn it, Sergeant! They're almost on top of us! Masters, give me your hand! I'll pull you up! And then he gets a fucking alien... Mouth... The little mouth inside the mouth through the brains, oh. and his brains fucking splatter, uh, and that's the guy that fell down that getting so splattered with uh, with brains all over him, and then uh, and then look at that, look at that fucking, look at that alien head, look at that Sam Keith alien, just, just badass. Uh, and then all hell, all hell starts to fucking break loose, and we've got some just amazing looking. So this is this is kind of like a like a Mister Gone pose, but with a Wolverine arm. You know, this guy has that like pill well, like, shape, kind of like, a, like a Conan cover or something like yeah. Frazetta stuff. Yeah, like I can see Frazetta in that. But with that pill shaped head that 
Sam Keith puts on some of his characters like Mr. Gone. And then this giant, giant fucking muscular arm there. Just um, just good looking shit. Look at his face down here in this panel. With all these aliens around him. Just incredible. incredible. Slime dripping out of him. Yeah. Know, for acid or that is. Yeah, that's their acid. That's their acid. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, he was just having a ball. Oh, like, yeah, she's look at that girl up there. She's just she's got some <laughs> she's got some titties on her. He little was just bit, having a ball. A little yes. bit of a Sam Keith pooch. He didn't kind of he didn't go overboard. Yeah, they're just I mean, my webcam doesn't do it justice. These faces are incredible. Sam Keith faces. <clears throat> and uh ooh, look at him. Looks like uh Hulk Hogan kinda. Looks like a Sam Keith Hulk Hogan. Incredible stuff. Uh that's a really. I don't, again, I don't know who this girl is. I don't think that's Newt, and I don't think it's because we get Newt and Ripley right here. This is this is Newt, and this is Ripley. But who's this babe? Anyway, um, yeah, yeah. It's a four. It's a four issue series, and in this one, I believe in this one they go after the Queen. And I think this is Newt flashing back to when she was a kid. Like the colors on this are like just like perfect for his art too. Like they're they're just. So I was looking. Yeah. I've never, I've never heard. I looked it up on this this Wikipedia thing. Mark Monica, what did it say? Mon yeah, Monica Mon Livingston. Yeah, Monica uh, Livingston is the colorist. Might be Monica Livingston. I mean, I don't know. But I mean, they're like just looking at them through here. It's like they're just like subtle enough, but like there's like you know like there's a, like gradients and whatnot going on. Yeah, there's on, a nice like, saturation to it. Like this isn't this isn't your image comics like a computer works. color. Yeah, there's it, a it real works with his with his his art. It's just fantastic. And it really it's like it's it's a like a combination of him noodling real heavy on this stuff um, and then the saturated colors muting it down uh, just makes it so gritty these comics have such a gr these uh, the, the, the art is it just I think it makes I guess every Sam Keith is a <laughs> panel and page and picture is a great Sam Keith panel page yeah. and picture but this gritty dirty dark saturated style is or desaturated style is a real treat to look at. This is some of his. This is some of his like eggs, like alien eggs, just grimy, slimy, dirty stuff. Um, I love these. You know, uh, Sam Keith loves to find a way to put circles into circles and ovals into all of his work. And these, um, and gang, you know how I am about um, the uh, what do you call it? The uh, Whatever those are, <laughs> it's been a long day. We've been uh, silhouettes. We've been working on a lot of videos today, gang. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> the silhouette stuff here in these uh, circle and oval images is is awesome. Great stuff. They're getting ready to des to descend into the the hive uh, itself, and there she is. There's the alien queen. Nice. He's, you could just tell he's just having a blast drawing these monsters. Yeah. Like I said, you get to... Like, I mean, everyone knew at that. If you were... He had to have known, like, with, uh, like I said, like, you know, like, Mobius worked on aliens. And he had to know like, Geiger. You know what I'm saying? Like, he seems like the sort of artist that would know, like, that sort of stuff. You know, like, he's he's not just like, I, I don't know, I just start drawing and this would happen. You know, he's he seems like someone that, like, low-key is, like... A super deep researcher, you know, like. Well, he has to be because yeah. I just keep showing. Having a library, you know. I 
keep showing off these yeah. panels. They're just amazing. They're just great looking. Look at the, look at her hair in this. Um, it's so much different than Max art. I don't know. I mean, I see the same. Like that's some. I look at it. And I see all the same stuff, but just like varying amounts. Like I said, like it just. This is more staying on models, staying on like one one form of each character. You know what I'm saying? Like he has his style for everybody, but he's staying with that. Like they don't they don't like morph into like different styles. Where like in Max, it does uh, like you know he does. Yeah, this is just. Oh, look at this face! Is that like a trailer up at the top? Like some sort of it's like a craft, like some a, kind of aircraft? Like okay. Oh man, it's like every page has something just fantastic on it. Look at that alien. <laughs> Yeah, pull that up, like, pull it back a little bit so you can see, like, yeah, the, that chin, its chin with all the stuff on it, like, that is, or, like, maybe going close on the chin, maybe that's what I'm saying, but backwards. Oh, yes, it's all, like, <laughs> looks like, like, almost like a stubbly chin on the alien with all the acid drool. Look at that, babe. Yeah, he is. I I gotta find a copy of this. I assume there's like a collection somewhere at home. Probably they they I don't know they collect the Terminators. I assume they collect these aliens too, but I've never seen one in the wild. I've never seen a, a full collection. Look on look on one of those sites where they sell them. <laughs> there's a million yeah, more of these too. Like Sam Keith, obviously highlight of the alien series but i'm telling you dude all these maybe not all of them but they are here's a ton more of these aliens um look at that cover music of the spears yeah Who's music strong? of the spears is a uh look at that cover wow. <laughs> look at that cover um it's good Music of the Spears is Chet Williamson writing it. Pencils Tim Hamilton, Timothy Bradstreet on the inks. So that's the okay. interiors. The covers Timothy Bradstreet and Guy Burrell are the covers on the uh, on the Music of the Spears ones. And obviously the interior art doesn't hold a candle to. Um, These are, they got some crazy prices on this eBay. Aliens Earth War 1 through 4. Well, it says they're all 9.8 or mint. $60. $59.95. For the four? For the set of four? But here's Aliens. another one. $12 for the full set. But they $12. might be like probably the upper. Yeah, in, the, in my in my in the condition my comics are in, here's Aliens Berserker, kick-ass cover on this, and these are just wild stories that are better than I mean you just like Colonial Marines is one of my favorites in the in the series. This was um, uh, written by Kelly Puckett and uh, Alan Nunes on pencils and Andy Parks and Terry Pallet on inks, uh, but Colonial Marines is a great great one. Look at that cover. Another crazy cover. <laughs> Aliens pig. Pig. In space, no one can hear you squeal. <laughs> How about that? And I think that's Chuck Dixon. That's Chuck Dixon. Um, Flint Henry on pencils. Andrew uh, Peepoy. On, uh, on, and that's some good looking. That's some good looking alien art right there. I think it's Pepoy. It'd be Peepoy. Pepoy. That's a Andrew Pepoy. 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 Um, and it, it kind of ranges in all styles, you know. This is Mondo Heat, and it's like a cartoony. Yeah. 
Henry Gilmore uh, Gilroy on the right on the uh, writing, Ronnie Del Carmen on the um, cover and interiors, and I mean that's like cartoony <laughs> aliens, which is also cool because that looks like an like an animated series. If Alien was an animated series, it would look like that, which is really cool. Um, Mondo Heat, and then there's Mondo Pest, which is another one that's um, pretty gnarly. Aliens Genocide, another one of my favorite in the uh, Alien uh, franchise, and this is this is uh, yeah, it's the red it's the red aliens versus the black aliens. <laughs> what? And they're nuking them. They're, they're nuking them from orbit. <laughs> Um, this one's great. This is a great series. Are there, I hate to ask if there's white aliens. I don't know. I mean, probably in small numbers that have a higher white IQ aliens. that have a higher IQ than the black aliens, possibly. How about that cover? I mean, that's one of my favorite. I think this is one of my favorite comic book covers of all time. Um, I've they had this. Had an al- what have they? Like an albino alien? Um, I think there was one in the new Romulus movie. I think it's an album. Look oh. up Alien Romulus Mutant, and it'll show you a picture of him. And I think he's white. I've had this. I've had this comic since I was like 12 years old, and this cover has just been with me my whole life. And um, uh, is that that John Bolton again on the cover? That's, that's Arthur Sudam. Oh, that's okay. Oh wow, okay. I didn't see it. Yeah, I would have. I didn't see that that bottom where his signature is. And uh, yeah, he's on all of the genocide covers. So that's also an Arthur so- Soydum, I think is how you pronounce it. Soydum. Uh, but I've yeah, I've got a couple of those. Um, it just goes on and on, Doctor Ben. There's so many of them, and they're it's such high quality writing and art. Like I don't know if you've seen a stinker in the bunch. Um, here's a black and white version with no with, uh, with no uh, no letters no nothing no letters no I'm, I'm kidding <laughs> I'm kidding that's uh, Mark A. Nelson on the uh, on art there with Mark that's that uh, guy that, uh, is that the the U Demon guy I'm not sure I mean, like, hero, the hero magazine with U Demon um, this is just the straight up Aliens adaptation. So this is just, and it's black and white. And it's that same guy that Mark uh, Verheiden wrote that Earth War, um, the Earth War right, one with uh, with Sam Keith. Oh, yeah. Alien Hive is one of my favorites. Also, look at this cover. I almost might think I might, I might, I think I might like Kelly Jones as Alien more than. Yeah, this is it. Um, and he's inking and uh, yeah. coloring himself. We'll get out number one. So Alien Alien Hive is great because, and maybe we'll do an episode on Alien Hive. The great, yeah. great Kelly Jones uh, Alien Hive. But it's it's this it's got an insane story. They this uh, scientist um, that develops uh, robotic ants to infiltrate ant colonies makes a robotic alien to infiltrate alien colony and bring back uh, precious eggs for um, the um, Wyland Corporation of course so uh, you know let's see I don't know if I would say I like it better than Sam Keith but he certainly draws a fantastic alien doesn't he that's fantastic so, I mean, you've got some of the heaviest hitters in comics. Arthur Sudam, Kelly Jones, Sam Keith. I mean, and they were working on all these. Predator, Terminator, uh, Robocop. I mean, these were some of the best guys in the business working on. That's that's amazing. Look at that. Look at that alien. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. I kind of feel like... I, I feel like Kelly Jones is with, like, all those ribs... Like there's something the way he draws ribs and like those little knobby spine, uh, what do you call those vertebrae or whatever popping yeah. out? Like he draws here, all that down here on the back. Look at the back. That's that's <laughs> just a fun creature to draw in general because of all the protuberances and spines and you know elongated limbs and stuff and the tail with the 
um, with the spike on it. I mean, they're just really cool monsters to draw in general. Uh, credited right to H.R. Geiger. He's the original the original alien yeah. uh, designer. But yeah, we'll take a look. Well, let's not get too far into Alien Hive because I think uh, down the road yeah. we ought to take a look at uh, at the Kelly Jones series. But uh, that's my that's my book report on <laughs> on Alien Earth War by uh, 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 drawn by the um, master Sam Keith. What are your uh, final thoughts on that, Doctor Ben? You got anything to add to the uh, to the show here? Yeah, I mean that looks it looks fantastic. I mean that's to me that that really like just like solidifies. I I love Sam Keith's art, anyways. You know what I mean? But like this just really solidifies him as like uh, man, just just amazing. You know, to see like just you know what I mean? Like to see like the way his style kind of like not like you, you wouldn't even say change or evolve, but you know what I'm saying? Like you could see like just the way, just, just the way he was drawn in there was like, had that, you could feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like you could feel like how happy he was with that. Oh, how yeah. happy that you know, like, I get to do alien earth war, like with like the alien writer guy, like what the hell? I mean, man, I'm going to, yeah, look, I'm, I mean, I'm going to do is just, I'm turning in my alien pages, and they are just gonna scream. That's what you know. What I mean, like, and he still gets some of his. He still gets to do some of his Sam Keithisms. He's still got like a fucking weird ass panel layout. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like he's just just firing on everything. He's just yeah, yeah. You can feel that energy of you know just doing the work. You know, this is yeah, I get to do Alien. I get to draw Alien for these guys. Oh, man, I'm just going to, you know, just feel that coming out of every one of his pages. And and that's, I think that's really neat. Like, I feel I feel like with, with Max, he was, like, more just focused on, like, the story, you know? Like, he was more just getting the story and the characters and, like, you know, evolving with it, too. Because, I mean, I'm sure when he started drawing, like, Darker Image and Max 1... He wasn't thinking about, uh, you know, Max issue 27. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I think he was, like, he had, like, the basic idea, and then it was like, if it, if, it, if that works, then I'll figure some more stuff out. I think exactly. that's, exactly. you know, that's something. He, he was more focused on the story, whereas here, it's like, whew, man, just see, like I said, like, it's just like, you feel like his energy of just like, man, I just want to do the best. I want to just give him my best work for this. I get to be along. Yeah, imagine, that's what I'm saying. Like, imagine that. You're going to get to work on something that H.R. Geiger worked on, that Mobius worked on, that, you know, like all these you know, be like, I, I can be it was probably, I'm, I'm well, I was going to say it was probably you know, the most I, famous thing he worked on, but I'm pretty sure those Marvel Presents covers had a huge print run. He yeah, was pretty Wolverine. He, yeah, the Wolverine stuff that he worked on. Yeah, that. And, and not to mention that the Max, what like MTV in the nineties. Yeah, how huge. many people were watching MTV in the nineties? Huge. Everybody you know our age, everybody our age knows the Max. If only, I think more people know the Max from MTV I than know, know it from the comics. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. If if you were to ask like a random person from back then, who just watched him, you know, didn't read comics. You know the Max and be like, no, what the fuck? I don't know what you're talking about. But if you show them, you know, like that picture of him from the cartoon or whatever, they'd be like, oh yeah, I remember that. You know, so I mean, that's just Max just needs to get uh, brought back to life, introduced, introduced to the kids, <laughs> reintroduced. You can introduce us to uh, issues of the Max if you've got dupes of uh, the Max comics or these alien comics or anything Sam Keith related, uh, feel free to uh, toss them in the mail to Kevin Strange P.O. Box number 5, Cottage Hills, Illinois 62018. If you are a comics creator and you would like to see your work featured on the channel, uh, Kevin Strange P.O. Box number 5, Cottage Hills, Illinois 62018, uh, toss that in the mail like Dr. Ben did. Dr. Ben sent me this uh, an enormous... Uh, collection, the Image Grand Design, the infamous Image Grand Design, uh, 
where on the flip side, Image Grand Disaster, Dr. Ben has three featured um, three featured stories uh, in here, and we're going to do a whole episode on Image Grand Design slash Disaster, where you'll be able to see um, all of Dr. Ben's work in in the book. Speaking of the Max, there's a parody. Uh, Ed Brubaker. As Ed Brubaker Max. as the Max, as drawn by Dr. Ben. Um Dr. Ben's going to spill the tea on the creation, uh, distribution, and aftermath of Image Grand Design because I think it's one of the crazier stories in modern comics. So you'll want to tune in for that. And uh, like I said, send your stuff in uh, to the P.O. Box as well. Final thoughts, Dr. Ben, before we get out of here? Uh, not much. Just, uh, you know, check out my check out my Substack. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, oh, I'll show you. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube, Dr. Ben's Comics. When I hit that, uh, what is it? When I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to be able to read some more Robert Crumb comics on my YouTube. So I see this thing. I want to see it. I'm going to bust it open. I think we're going to get like a, a sawzaw. I think I want to cut it open with a sawzaw. I think that'd be fun. Z- destroy. Destroy the CGC. <laughs> and take the of comics. Free them. Free the comics. Keep digging. Free your comics. That's that's my yeah. <laughs> Love it. Gang, see you in the next video. <laughs> <laughs>